Larry, how are you? Nice to meet you, Dave. Yes, sir. You're from Lancaster, I'm Kentucky? from Lancaster, yes. And you've brought in a sword with a colorful history to it, possibly. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, when I, when I was working on the police department about 2005, I was a surfing the internet and I found this sword on the internet and it turns out I had it looked at today and it was authentic and it dates to probably 1685 to 1690, could be a little bit, a little bit later into the 1700s. And it's a Spanish Bilbo. It's a sword, a pirate sword. Yeah, or, that, I mean, if that sword could talk, you know? Yeah, what the, stories it could tell, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, I think it, it'd have a lot of history to tell. Mm -hmm. It was said that it was found in a cave in Cuba, and uh, well, that's that's really all I know, other than it might have been in a National Geographic magazine at one time. Maybe. A National Geographic. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, when when he wrote the history about it, he had said in National Geographic that it was found with another sword. In, in the same cave and that they had said it was featured in one of the magazines, but they couldn't find the, the one it was featured in, so. Okay, now comes the question, what's it worth? Well, it's uh, worth about $1,450. Well, congratulations. Were you expecting that or more or less? Uh, well, I didn't know, I was hoping more mm -hmm. now, but uh, I'm, I'm very excited about it. Heck yeah. Well, listen, thanks for bringing that great piece in. It's in great shape, too, by the way. Yeah, he said it was all 100% original, and original handle and everything. Nothing had been put on it, he thinks. All right. Thanks, Larry. Thank you very much. Funding for this program was provided by the KET Endowment for Kentucky Productions. We thank those who invested in KET to help preserve Kentucky stories.